Should I open the door? Whoops. Yeah, let's open the door. Don't go towards the firewall. As we travel, we enjoy seeking out unique accommodations, and over the last few years, we've had the opportunity to stay in quite a few. This is our room. Good morning from our Arctic tree house. This is our home for the night. This is going to be our view while we're sleeping. Tonight, we're staying in one of the most unique accommodations in the entire world. So yeah, tonight we thought it would be fun to challenge ourselves. A this tiny cabin made completely of ice. It is a wooden teepee with a glass roof. This is the capsule that I'm staying at for the night. I found this futuristic looking mountain hut online. It looks like an incredible place to spend the night. This is so incredible. I feel really so like lucky it. to have the opportunity to do this. Uh, it doesn't fit. We just picked up our rental car and our copy, and this morning we're driving two hours north to spend the night in an incredible tiny home on stilts. It's like a tree house or a bird house for humans. <laughs> in 600 meters at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Tom's Binger Reagan E16. Binger Reagan. Binger Reagan. Before we get there, we have a few things we need to pick up. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Thank you. All right, I think we have enough food to last us about a week, even though we're only staying for one night. And now we have about one hour to go before we get there. We have just arrived in the middle of nowhere and we are getting our first glimpse of this incredible place. It's even better than the photos. <laughs> it's like nothing you've ever seen before. <laughs> so huge. For scale. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> this is crazy. Here's the keys. <laughs> 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 Oh, those almost went so far down. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. Can this even be considered a tiny house? I feel like we have so much space. There's a whole other room. <gasps> this is so cute. Look at this view. I think this door opens. No way. No way. This is crazy. So the couple who built this place wanted it to be somewhere that you could come and completely disconnect and just relax in nature. So it's really simple, but it has everything that you need. This is our living room with my favorite feature of the whole house, a real fireplace, which feels kind of crazy because we're in a wooden tree house, but we're lighting that as soon as possible. And over here, we have coat closet and another closet with games and stuff. Here's the bathroom, which is surprisingly massive. Toilet that flushes, waterfall shower, sink, really nice amenities, and a candle. Which is really special to me because I love candles and we never get to have them with our lifestyle. And we might not have one tonight because this lighter doesn't work. <laughs> we'll revisit this. And in this room, we have the kitchen and dining room area with everything we could ever need. Oven, stove, sink with running water that comes from a well that's like 100 meters below the ground. Here's some storage and a trash can, a refrigerator, and most importantly, a French press and a whole bag of coffee. And this dining room table completely folds up into this wall, just like on this wall. These come down out of the wall as well. This is actually another bed. You can take the cushion from the kitchen couch, use it as a mattress. You can have an extra person in here and in the living room. There's another one of these. And last but not least, 
Let's go see the master bedroom. I love it up here. <sighs> so comfy. Is this not the coziest bed you've ever seen? And we both have these giant robes, these white fluffy linens, and a beautiful view on both sides. Plus, we have these little ventilation things all over the house. You can adjust them to get more air if you're hot, or you can close them to stay warm. Pretty cool. And this is our home for just one short night, which isn't long enough, but we're gonna make the most of it. I think this is probably the most romantic place we've ever stayed. And I think it's because we're so isolated. And the thing that's so cool is like when you check in, you don't even see anybody. They just give you a code to get in the house and then it's all yours. I mean, I just can't like explain how in the middle of nowhere we are. We drove two hours out of the city into the wilderness and then we turned on a gravel road and kept driving. But it's cool to have something like this luxurious in the wilderness. I think that's what's so cool to me. Yeah. Just like the contrast. All right, we're gonna cook some dinner. There you go. Let's we'll start the fire. And light the candle. Ooh, good idea. Whoa! This is perfect. Listen to that. That is a beautiful sound. Let's see. I'm scared of the woods, not really. Oh! I got some key. Oh, there's some more newspaper. I think I shut the door too soon and should not have thrown on the extra newspaper. <laughs> Directions. It's gonna be okay. What happened? Well, I'm just having a little trouble down here. <laughs> While Nate's getting the fire going, I'm gonna get started on dinner. Oh, that was that. You can do it, Nate. Okay, let me show you what we got today. Here are our appetizers. Honestly, Nate and I could eat just meat and cheese for dinner every night for the rest of our lives and never get sick of it. But we did buy some real food to make for dinner tonight. We're having one of my go-to's, sauteed veggies with way too much garlic. It's my favorite. And salmon, because we're in Norway and they love fish. This one is pre-seasoned and all I have to do is put it in the pan. I'm not the best cook, but I do really enjoy it. I think this is gonna be great. And if all else fails, we had a great appetizer and we have chocolate and wine to end with. <laughs> I think we should have thought about having fish in a tiny home. <laughs> yeah, it's like really bad right now. <laughs> gonna attract the bears. These didn't turn out very pretty. <laughs> There's your fish! Okay, what do you think? <laughs> no, I'd say we stick together like this before. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and crispy on the outside. <laughs> they have to give Norwegian salmon another chance at a restaurant. <laughs> So we got two bars of chocolate. <laughs> we have plenty of food. We don't have to eat it. Without a doubt, the comfiest bed I have ever slept in. It's like being wrapped up in the most giant, white, fluffy cocoon. Like your whole body just sinks into it. Maybe because we were sleeping on what felt like plywood for two weeks in Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> We 
just got all packed up and we are about to get out of here. But as if this place could not get any more magical. It started snowing. You can't really see it in the camera, but it's snowing. And even though it's just a little, it still makes me happy. It doesn't take much. <laughs> oh, I'm sad to leave this place. Mm. 24 hours was definitely not long enough at that place, but there is a lot more of Norway that we want to see. So the adventure continues. Oh, that was really good. And now we're gonna have to eat crunchy pretzels. <laughs> we're gonna eat so much cheese and wine. <laughs> it's even in the magazine. Did we get a present? Oh, little eye mask and earplugs. I wonder what noise we're supposed to be blocking out. Transformative night gel cream. Persian silk tree extract. Fancy! I love it! I wonder what you do with that. <laughs> Maybe it's soothing. You're supposed to smell it as you go to sleep. Got something on your nose right there. <laughs> Smells amazing. Do not apply to skin. No. Take time for you. With warmest regards, Frisky Jis. I'm really bad at Norwegian name. Have a lot of chapstick on your forehead. It's gonna be really shiny now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels like it shouldn't be here, especially being 24 meters above the ground. I think it's 24 feet. 24 feet. Yeah, 24 meters would be very high. That would be <laughs> that would be too many steps. I'd be very dizzy by the time I got to the top of the staircase. I count it. There's uh, 47. Oh, nice. I've never made a stamp before, and there were no directions on the package, and I didn't know if it was cooked or not, and I was scared I was gonna make it sick by not cooking it. <laughs> I'm much shorter than you. Do you want to switch that? I feel much shorter. 